Hello everyone and welcome back for another video on Python image manipulation. Today we're going to take a look at how to blend two images together. This is actually a lot easier than it seems. Basically all you do is you get the average of the red, green, and blue values for um, your two pictures for each pixel. Make a new color and assign that pixel to the new color of the average of the red, green, and blue values. Now we are going to make a function and let's call it blend. We are of course going to need two pictures. I mean, let's call them uh, pick one and pick two. And here I'm going to make an important note that we are going to assume that the pictures are the same size. Now this is going to be crucial for what we're doing or else this function will not work. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to make a new picture that will be the blend of these two pictures. Now to make another picture, I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but you give it a variable name so I'm going to call it blind pick blind picture and you say make empty picture and this takes a width and a height so we are going to say get width it doesn't matter which picture we get the width from I'm just going to get it from picture one because they're both the same and I'm going to get the height from sure picture one as well and what this will return is it will return a picture object um, that is the same, same width and height as picture 1 and picture 2. There's also an optional parameter called um, color right here. By default, this by default color is set to uh, white like that, but you can set it to black if you want or whatever. Um, but for now we're just going to keep it white so you don't have to put anything in for that. Okay, now that we have our picture we want to loop through um, all the pixels. So for x, uh, actually y, it doesn't matter which way you do it, but it's more logical if you loop through y first then x because our eyes usually like to go across first, then down, instead of going down, uh, down first, then across one, and down again. So that's why I always try to put Y first, just because it makes more sense. For Y in range of the, of the height, actually, we might as well make two variables called width and height and set them equal to this since we're using them more than once right so width is equal to width and okay and we're just going to swap those in so width and height okay and for y in the range of height and for x in the range of width Okay, so we were looping through all the Y coordinates and all the X coordinates, and we've currently made another, another picture. And what we want to do is we actually want to get a pixel from our blend image, because that's the one we're going to be assigning the new color to. So we're, I'm going to call that one the target pixel. Oh target pixel because that's the, the pixel we're targeting because that's the one we're going to change it's currently white but we're going to assign it to another color so the target pixel is going to be a pixel in our blend picture at x and y why at x and y because it's the same size as these two pictures Next, I'm going to get the two pixels 
from pick one and pick two. So pick one is going to get pixel of pick one at x and y. And same thing, oops, for pick two right here and make sure you change this to picture two. Okay, now for the algorithmic part, we want to get the average red, green, and blue values uh, between these two pixels. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to make some variables first. So red one, so the red value of the first picture, the green value of the first picture, the blue value of the first picture, is going to be equal to the following. And this should be pretty self-explanatory. Trying to get green and swan, then get blue, swan, and we can copy all that and actually just change these to R2, G2, and blue 2. And we're almost done, and there we go. Now we want to make our blur color equal to the average of the red and the red, the green and the green, and blue and the blue. So our, uh, not our blur color, our blend color equal to a new color. So make color. Remember this takes three arguments, red, a red value, a green value, and a blue value. But we want to get the average of the red, so that's red 1 plus red 2 divided by 2. The average of the green are green 1 plus green 2 divided by 2. It's actually quite crucial that you put um, parentheses or else you will get division uh, happens before addition and it won't get the actual average. So make sure you do that. So we're getting all the averages and set it equal to a new color, our blend color. So next we want to set uh, the color of a uh, target pixel to this color. So set the color of our target pixel to our blend color. Okay. And that's it. All we have to do now is return our blend pick right here. Sweet. Now let's go to the command area and test this function out. Don't forget to load it. Uh, but first we need two pictures. So p1 sure equals make picture pick a file let's get a first picture in our js um picture nine and a second picture i'm gonna get picture 11. now i should show you guys these pictures ahead of time and picture two Okay, so the first picture looks like this, looks like some sort of supernova, and the second picture looks like a moon and a tree with roots, okay? Now, if we set our blended picture, it's going to equal to blend P1 and P2. <coughs> we let that run for a little bit while it does its thing. And then I'm going to show blended pick. And here is the blended picture. And here are the two original pictures. Now, that's all great, but my challenge to you for today is to make a function that will blend half of two images that are any size together because this was really easy because these two pictures had the same size but what if they didn't how would you have to change your function to do that
So I'll leave you guys off with that. Um, so I hope you guys learned something, and thank you for watching.